Skyflow has built a very elegant solution, I'll say, a very thoughtful product to protect the PII data. It is easy to implement. It is very flexible platform, and you can build as you grow on, on, on top of it because of the extensibility that it provides. Hi, I'm Manoj Avasthi. I'm the CTO at Julo. Julo is a leading a fintech startup in Indonesia in P2P lending space. Indonesia is a fourth largest populous nation in the world, and large part of this population does not have access to financial needs. For example, even the credit access is not there. Julo's uh, vision is to serve this segment and uh, improve their financial lives. My name is Hans and I'm head of engineering at Julo. Security has been uh, really important for us at Julo uh, as a financial uh, tech company. One of the Julo values is doing the right thing. We are collecting a lot of information about the customer. They go through an elaborate EKYC process. They submit a lot of uh, personal information. We need to t treat PII data very differently from other data that sits in our tech stack. We realized that we needed a much a deeper security controls around PII. And one of the options has always been building our own. From my past experience, I know how complex it can be to build a solution to do a PII encryption and tokenization at rest and in transit. It may seem simple, but it's very, very complex underneath. We want our engineers to be focusing on building features and capabilities uh, within Julo to improve the financial lives of our customers. So Julo uses uh, Skyflow to isolate, protect, and govern the PII access within the organization. Our, our use case with Skyflow is isolating controlling access and storing our customers' personal data in an encrypted manner. Skyflow comes in to be able to protect us from any data leakage. More recently, a very positive trend that I have seen is the awareness that is there for data security and privacy amongst the customers, amongst the organizations, and even amongst the governments. And that has led to a proliferation of data security and privacy laws across many countries. GDPR is very, very popular now, and many countries are actually adhering to that. Recently, India passed their uh, data privacy law, and similarly, Indonesia passed their PDP law two years back. This year, that law goes in action. That law dictates that all the companies who are getting access or taking any PII data from the customers have the responsibility to protect that data and uh, protect the access to that data at the highest level. The reason why it's important for us uh, about the law is that for any breach of sensitive data, uh, we could be fined up to 2% of our uh, annual revenue. And that's huge for us, that's very significant. Coming from an engineering background, I remember one of my colleagues telling me that as engineers, we often underestimate the complexity of a task and overestimate our own abilities. That often happens. So if you have to build, we can go and build our own cloud, but we don't have to. So in that decision of building versus buying, my decision was much easier because I had to choose from leveraging our workforce, our manpower, our engineers to build solutions that are directly serving the underserved population of Indonesia, improving their financial life, that is the vision of Julo, versus building something which is already being solved in a very elegant manner by some world-class solutions like Skyflow.